business for now. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights has visited a Rohingya refugee camp as part of a four-day visit to Bangladesh. Michelle Bachelet is the first UN Human Rights Chief to make an official trip to the country. What I heard in my conversations with women, young people, religious leaders and other Rohingya refugees in the camps was a surrounding hope that they would be able to return to their villages and homes in Myanmar, but only when the conditions are right. Unfortunately, the current situation across the border means that the conditions are not right for returns. Our correspondent Mohammed Kamruzaman joins me now from the Bangladeshi capital, Dhaka. Hi there, uh, Mohammed. We heard a little bit there from Michelle Bachelet, but what else uh, did she say, especially to the Rohingya people living in refugee camps? Uh, thank you. Actually, this uh, visit is uh, very much important uh, uh, for the timing, as you know, that uh, the fifth uh, uh, five year of Rohingya exodus uh, to be celebrated uh, just uh, uh, 25 August of this uh, month and uh, there is huge frustration among the Rohingya refugees about uh, peaceful and dignified repatriation and even uh, there are uh, reports of uh, human rights violation in the main uh, Rohingya refu refugee camps in border district of Coxon's Bazar as well as uh, in the distant island of Vashan so you know that uh, almost 20,000 Rohingya have already been shifted to that island on ground and of a safety and better living condition. Uh, but there are uh, some allegations about uh, the freedom of uh, uh, expression about uh, freedom of movement and even uh, there is huge allegation that uh, Rohingya civil society uh, are not allowed uh, to uh, to uh, to express uh, uh, freely and uh, there is also concern about the education of uh, Rohingya you know that uh, some days back uh, there are so many reports about the closure of uh, many learning centers at the Rohingya refugee camp so frustration is, uh, uh, is uh, mounting uh, and at this moment this uh, visit is considered to be very significant because uh, this is also the first uh, visit of any uh, any UN rights chief uh, to Bangladesh as well as uh, in the uh, Rohingya refugee camps uh, uh, that is mm -hmm. the house of almost 1.2 million uh, Rohingya refugees. So Mohammed, uh, what's the response been with the, some of these accusations? What's the response been from Bangladeshi authorities and the government? Uh, uh, we we also asked uh, the, the the visiting year rights chief about the response of uh, Bangladeshi authorities, and uh, she informed us that she talked uh, with the Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina as well as several ministers, including Home Minister, Foreign Minister, and uh, some other ministers, and also talked with civil society members and youth representatives uh, about the uh, response of uh, Rohingya refugees. Uh, Bangladesh uh, assured her that uh, uh, Bangladesh will take care of the rights and safety and other issues and Basilet um, informed us that they are concerned uh, about uh, about uh, some uh, some uh, risk issues uh, for example uh, there are a report of uh, some terrorist group and just a few uh, days back to Rohingya leaders were killed and before that another prominent Rohingya leader uh, where was uh, shot dead and uh, there are so many such incidents in the Rohingya refugee camps and uh, Basilet uh, the uh, urged the Bangladeshi authorities to enhance uh, safety and security uh, and as well as she also emphasized on creating conducive in environment uh, in the in Myanmar so that Rohingya can uh, return to their home country with uh, safety and dignity and uh, she also termed uh, the peaceful repatriation of the stateless people to their home country of Myanmar uh, as their basic right and uh, she assured that uh, mm -hmm. she would try uh, as part of the United Nations uh, for creating a conducive environment uh, for peaceful repatriation of the stateless people to their home country of Myanmar's Rakhine state. Okay. Uh, Mohammed Kamrusaman, appreciate that update. Thank you so much. Well, another top UN official, the special envoy for Myanmar, is on her first trip to Myanmar since her appointment in October. The visit by Nolene Hazer follows calls.